so in this power lecture uh, we will discuss the sub gradient descent algorithm for minimizing the loss function in the l1 norm regularized least square so let's see what the sub gradient descent algorithm is so uh, the loss function the loss function uh, which is denoted by l of w in the l1 norm regularized least square is no l2 norm of y minus phi times w squared plus lambda times norm of w1 sorry l1 norm of w so here uh, as usual uh, y is a is a vector of target values phi is a feature matrix and w is an n dimensional vector and here lambda is um is is a is a parameter uh, that belongs it's a hyper parameter it belongs uh, to this set uh, this close set 0 and 1 uh, so the lambda assigns the relative importance to this regulation term the higher the value of the lambda uh, the more weight we give to the l1 uh, uh, to to this penalty term corresponding to the l1 norm of of the weight vector w the smaller the value of the lambda the smaller the importance we give to this penalty term um, which is l1 norm of uh, the weight vector w so now uh, to compute the w that uh, or the map estimate of the parameters w um, um, is w star is argument over w L of w. So now the goal is to minimize this loss function, and as we saw earlier um, for the uh, for the L for the for the linear regression and the L two norm regularized least squares, uh, we were able to just compute the derivative of the loss function, the gradient of the loss function with respect to w, and then we would we were able to use this gradient and update the parameters w as w goes to w plus um, some alpha where, where alpha is a learning rate some alpha times the negative of the gradient of the loss function we are able to do this uh, because this for because in the earlier in the in the in, in the least square in, in linear regression we just ha we only had this term and in the in the l2 norm regular least square we had a2 norm of w squared which was w transpose w and this term is also differentiable with respect to w so both these terms were differentiable in the l1 norm regular least square as we saw earlier as well this term is not differentiable so uh, we instead of using gradients we can use sub gradient so we can compute the sub gradient of the loss function uh, with respect to w and then uh, we can just for, for the sake of simplicity we can denote the sub gradient also using this notation and then once we obtain the sub gradient uh, we can update the parameters w as w goes to w plus alpha times negative of the sub gradient of the loss function so now we will see how to compute the sub gradient of this term so uh, just a just a brief uh, a brief prior this term over here as we saw earlier as well is differentiable uh, this term is simply is y minus phi times w transpose times y minus phi times w and as we can see this term is differentiable with respect to w now to to to, to compute the sub gradient uh, of the uh, of, of the term l1 norm of w so we'll use a definition of the norm so we'll just uh, i'll just erase this for uh, to avoid clutter So we'll just use the definition of the norm. So the L1 norm of vector w 
is simply sum or all i equal to 1 to n where w is n dimensional real vector absolute value of the ith component of w so this is the definition of the l1 norm of an n dimensional real vector we can rewrite it as this is equal to a vector of absolute value of the components of w so the first component of this vector is uh, absolute value of the first component of this vector w the second component is absolute value of the second component of the of the weight vector w and likewise the last term would be the absolute value of the nth component of the weight vector w we take the transpose and we multiply it by a vector whose all entries are one so this we, we can uh, we can denote it as a vector b so vector b is is a vector of one which means that um, this is a, this is an n dimension real vector each and each of those um, components of this vector are one so th this will give us the same uh, uh, the the uh, the same thing uh, we take the dot product of these two vectors what we'll get is this summation and now uh, we can uh, redefine uh, uh, sort of like we can reformulate this term as so first of all uh, we will we, uh, we'll discuss the function which is an absolute value function so let's assume that x is a scalar so the function f of x which is uh, absolute value of x can be written as x for x greater than 0 uh, 0 for x equal to 0 and negative x for x uh, less than 0 right. we can uh, we can further rewrite it as simply f of x equal to x times sine of x where uh, the sine x is a function sine x is a function which is 1 for x greater than 0 it, it is it is uh, it can assume any value between negative 1 and 1 for x equal to 0 and it is negative 1 for x less than 0 um, for convenience during implementation we can just assume that sine of x returns 0 for x equal to 0 but it can return any value between negative uh, between negative 1 and 1 so uh, we can re, uh, we can rewrite this term on the right hand side as so we can rewrite the norm of w1 uh, simply a vector of w w1 w2 wn and we can we can take the sine term in the vector b and we can rewrite the vector b as the first component is sine of w1 the second component is sine of w2 and likewise the nth term is sine of w n so this is our regular vector w and this is a vector b and vector b is defined like this so we can rewrite uh, the l1 norm as simply w transpose b and now we can take the gradient of uh, of, of this reformulated term with respect to w or we can say the uh, the, the the sub gradient so this would be uh, as you have seen earlier the gradient of with respect to w transpose b uh, sorry the gradient of w transpose b with respect to w is simply the vector b so we can take this uh, we can we can uh, define the sub gradient the sub gradient of 
L1 norm of W respect to W is simply a vector B whose ith component is sign of the ith component of the vector W. So um, let's consider the loss function again. So the loss function that we have in the L1 norm regular S least square is L2 norm of y minus phi times w sorry L2 norm square plus lambda times L1 norm of the vector w. So we can compute the subgradient of this loss function with respect to w as the gradient of this term plus the subgradient of this term which is simply so we have computed the gradient of this term many times we have done it in the linear regression lecture we have also done in the l2 norm regular s least square so we will not expand this term we will just rewrite it as uh, um, um, like this gradient with respect to w norm of uh, for compactness we are just writing it like this plus the subgradient would be simply lambda times sine of w where sine of w is a vector is a vector whose ith component is sine of w i so the first component would be simply sine of w1 and the last component would be sine of w n so the subgradient descent algorithm works same as the gradient descent algorithm in the gradient descent algorithm uh, we start um, uh, we, we have some uh, some estimate of the parameter w so we initialize let's say we initialize the w as a vector of all zeros is a vector of zeros it it means there is an n-dimensional vector with every entry zero so and um, we, we update in the stochastic in the stochastic gradient descent algorithm uh, we update the parameters w with respect to the every training uh, data point so we have w nu takes a value w old minus the learning rate alpha times the gradient of the loss function so this is the grain descent algorithm In subgrain descent, uh, we, uh, we we have the same formula, but this gradient is replaced by the subgradient of the function. So here we have w nu takes a value w old minus learning rate alpha times the subgradient of the loss function w at w equal to w old 
same as here we take the gradient at w equal to w old uh, so for the l1 norm regular is least square uh, this becomes w new takes the value w old minus learning rate alpha times the gradient of the first term at w equal to w old plus the subgradient of the uh, of the term l1 norm of w at w equal to w old so this is the update formula for minimizing the loss function in the L1 norm regularized least squares. And here uh, we can give you the pseudocode of the L1 norm regularized least square uh, with subgrain descent algorithm. So the first step is we pick any random value of w, let's say a vector of zeros. So initialize w. as let's say the vector of all zeros then uh, for each iteration for and we uh, uh, we uh, an epoch means uh, once you go through the entire data set uh, that completes your one epoch so uh, we can do it while uh, until convergence For each data sample, do the update W new takes a value W old minus learning rate alpha times the subgradient of the entire loss function which incorporates the gradient of the first term plus the subgradient of the second term so the subgradient of the loss function which is this term at w equal to w old So this completes our discussion about the subgrain descent algorithm and now you can use this very simple like first order algorithm to minimize the loss function in the L1 norm regularized least square to obtain uh, the optimal solution W map as we had seen in the Bayesian linear regression. This is a map estimate is equal to argmin of W. Hello. W. So this completes our discussion of the subgrain descent algorithm.